All right, so we had uh, in our in-class discussion, we were talking about uh, using significant figures as a measurement of uncertainty um, in terms of looking at uh, Olympic swimming. So uh, one piece of data that I gave you was that the world record time for uh, the 50 meter freestyle is 20.91 seconds. Um, but we see, if you watch the Olympics, that there's a lot of ties, especially at this distance. Uh, so we're trying to figure out why we uh, can't time a little bit better, get one more significant figure, go to hundreds, or sorry, thousands of a second, and um, resolve those ties. Now the other key thing here is that the 50 meter uh, distance in the pool is not going to be exact. There's an allowed tolerance of plus or minus 3.0 centimeters. And that difference can uh, be between lanes. Uh, and that's just a problem with construction and conditions can actually change the length of the pool depending on temperature and things like that. So that's the, the constraint that um, the Olympics have to work with. Them. So if we uh, have this record time, um, what we might want to see is uh, what you know, one way to go about this is to look at what the velocity of this swimmer would be on average over the length of the pool. So if we just say that the velocity is the distance divided by the time, then we can see uh, a couple, couple ways of looking at this. We can look at the, um, if we allow the pool to be slightly bigger or slightly smaller, what would the change in the time be? Know, how far off of this uh, record time would we be? Um, or we can look at, um, you know, what the distance uh, between two uh, swimmers of the same speed would be if we um, go to hundreds of a second or thousands of a second. So let's do that second version first. So if we take this velocity and then we say, um, you know, we have a delta t. So that is our uh, uncertainty or the, the, the precision that we have. So that can be uh, 0.01 seconds or uh, 0.001 seconds if we're hoping to improve this situation. So um, if I were to take my velocity that I get and multiply it by delta t, that would tell us um, the distance that somebody swimming this fast would cover in a hundredth of a second or a thousandth of a second. All right, so um, we can get, so this will give me, you know, we can call this a delta D. And then we want to compare that delta D to this number here. All right, so if we have a delta D that is, um, well outside of this, then we can say that our timing is pretty good. But if it's inside, then we can't time any better. So our velocity um, will take 50 meters and divide it by 20.91 seconds. And that gives us um, our velocity is 2.391 uh, meters per second. Now I'm keeping a couple extra significant figures here because uh, we need to compare that at the end. So then our delta D, if we take that and so this velocity and multiply by 0.01 seconds, we're going to get um, 0 0.0239 meters, which is 2.4 So if we're timing to the hundredth of a second, uh, 2.4 centimeters, that's about uh, the, the range of the tolerance there. But if I wanted to say that delta uh, for, so four hundredths. But if I wanted to go to thousandths of a second, then my delta D would become, instead of 0 0.023, it would be 0 0.00. 239 meters 
which is 2.4 millimeters. So somebody who's swimming you know, at or near um, world record times for the 50 meters is going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be going 2.4 millimeters in a thousandth of a second. So if you say, you know, first and second place are separated by a thousandth of a second, what you're saying is one person touched the pad uh, when they were 2.4 millimeters ahead of the second place person. But considering that the um, first place person's lane, or either person's lane, might be shorter by up to three centimeters, uh, rewarding them for winning by 2.4 millimeters is not a true measure of their swimming ability. And you might even say, I mean, look at, look at this number with hundreds of a second. For the 50 meters, uh, you could easily uh, get an advantage just by having a lane that ended up being slightly shorter than some, uh, somebody else's.